Hey, we back in Minecraft, boys. What's up? It's your boy, Bloopers Gaming, making another Minecraft video. So, last episode. Oh, wait, I didn't even check the comments. Oh, well. Uh, oh, wait, no, I did, I did. None of them were actually telling me to do anything. Guys, tell me what you want me to do in the comments. Come on. Okay, so, stop that out, there you go, last episode, we made this cool farm with uh, these few seeds, and we put half slabs so that the water wouldn't turn into ice, and I need food, I think I have some apples in my chest, actually, wrong one, that one's empty, oh god, I had apples, didn't I, did I already eat them, oh, maybe I had them in my inventory, <sighs> okay, um, it's fine. Oh, wait, oh wait, I cooked food. Didn't I? Yeah, I cooked salmon. So we eating salmon tonight, boy. Okay, there we go. Now I can run. Uh, let me think. Should I go mining or should I put a roof over my farm? Because if it snows, my farm's fricked. But wouldn't it need, like, sunlight still? Can I make a glass roof? Is that how that works? Here, wait, I'll make a test. I'll put a block, uh, like a couple blocks above it, to see if it blocks out, like, if it blocks out the sun. If there's a roof above it. You know? Because I want to, uh, because it might kill the crops if I block out the sun. But I want to make a roof to protect it from the snow. Because it, if it snows in this biome, there goes all my, all my, uh, precious crops, you know? So we'll just let that simmer for a little bit and come back to it and see what happens. Let's see, we'll see if my crops are dead or if they're just fine. And I still don't have a bed. I gotta get to that. But, you know that song, Don't Mine at Night? It's actually super inaccurate because mobs spawn uh, in dark places. It has nothing to do with the time of day. So mining at night is actually ideal because it's better than being on the surface because it's easier to fight mobs in an enclosed space. I don't know. You're safer from mobs down in the mines if you have torches, which I forgot. I only got one level, but it's fine. We don't have an enchanting table yet, so I won't need that. Okay. Uh, do I have torches? I do. I'm blind as hell. But didn't I have armor? Or did it all burn? I don't remember. It's been a bit. Yeah, I... Oh, okay, no, I didn't have armor. Now I do. Rip diamond pickaxe, man. It just burned in the lava. Should probably get that coal. Some of the little low on torches right now. Oh yeah, and sorry I said a lot of the same stuff I did in all three of the first episodes. Because I made them and I thought they got deleted, but it turns out they were in like this really out of the way obscure file on my computer. I'm like, oh, there they are. And I thought they were deleted, but apparently I just don't know how to use a computer. So, yeah, they're back, but say a lot of the same stuff in them. Sorry. More coal. But I don't want to destroy my staircase, so. Oh, also, I figured out this really, um, good way to mine diamonds. So you stay on level 12, right? And so here's a strip mine right here. And then I go two blocks over. So two blocks over. And then I make another mine here. And what this does is I can see everything that's on this side. And I can see everything that's on that side. And I just dig, like, out, like, huge areas this way on level 12. And it helps me get diamonds faster. 
So I'm gonna do that for a bit. I wish I could edit out like the mining. Oh wait, I could like pause it. I'll pause it until something interesting happens, I guess. Oh wait, actually I can't do that because my recording software is doo-doo and I can't play while it's paused. I should probably get a better one. But until then, you'll have to watch me mine for 20 minutes straight. Oh, I keep forgetting to place torches. Also, a lot of you probably know this, but put all your torches on one side so that when you're coming back, you know if they're on the right side. Oh, iron. Just a single block. I've been here before, probably, yeah. There you go. And every now and then, you, you can, like, connect your two tunnels if you really want to, you know? It's pretty epic. And also, I love that you can like put stuff in your offhand now, because I can like have the torches in my offhand, so I can have my pickaxe, and then I can just right click on the wall with my torch and just place it, and then I don't have to switch hotbar slots, and it's freaking epic. Probably a lot of people do this, I'm just, you know, giving you Minecraft tips that you already knew. Oh, okay, we found iron. That's something. I might just like do a lot of mining off camera and if I find diamonds I'll just leave them there and not actually like mine them until the next episode. I might do that. After this episode I might just do a ton of mining off camera until I like find things you know. I might just plug up this lava and I'll remember based on the sounds and based on that that there's lava underneath so when we need obsidian we can come back later. I think I'm gonna explore this cave actually. Because this looks like a pretty cool cave. I just need to make sure to not lose my way. Uh oh, zombies. Oh, redstone. Okay, we're making progress, boys. Not really, but. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, uh, there's iron there. Oh, there's so much. Okay. I need to get this iron. Oh, gold. Nice. Oh. Wow. Gee, thanks. Oh, okay. There's more. I was like, was it only one gold? It's weird how veins do that sometimes, where there's like only one alone, and then you have to do the others to like break the other blocks to see if there's more, because it just generated weird. iron, make plenty of buckets, oh I think I have buckets actually, why don't I make obsidian yet, next time I go mining I will bring a bucket and I will make obsidian so we can go to the nether, what's a goal I should have for this series, should I just like try and get lots of cool stuff and just kind of like build and just make a nice wholesome world for myself or should I try and take the more aggressive route and kill the ender dragon. Like, should I go after the ender dragon and, like, play it like a warrior, or should I play it like a, I don't know, a pacifist, you know, and just kind of chill and just build up my empire or something, I don't know. You guys let me know. Yeah. Zombies. Wait, why is there cobblestone there? Probably I plugged up the water, maybe. Something. Okay. Can you shut up? Whoever that is. The zombie noises are just kind of like annoying. Alright. Oh, what the hell? I saw the dirt and it like made me mega confusion. Ah, oh, lapis. Can use that for enchanting later. Not a lot, but it's something. Alright. More coal. Grab a little bit of that. For some fuel and torches. I used to, like, not use coal in my furnace, because I was, like, 
coal is a limited resource and trees are not, so I just only burn wood, right? But then, like, I burned coal for the first time. This was like a year ago. I don't do this anymore. I'm not a degenerate. But I burned coal for the first time in Minecraft. And I was like, wow, coal's better. And then I just, like, never burned wood again. I used to think coal was, like, only good for torches. And I just used the wood for the furnace. Because it's... You can at least plant more trees, you know? Okay, so we've pretty much explored that whole branch. Oh shoot, he has gold. Oh wait, is that this- Was that the same zombie from last episode who stole my gold ore? I think that was, because he dropped the gold ore. Oh my god. I finally got my revenge. Look at me, look at you. Take my revenge, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm a warrior, baby. What else is new? And my blade's gonna tear through you. I think those are the lyrics. I'm pretty sure. I was at, like, a convention thing, and they had a karaoke. And I was gonna, like, go up to the karaoke and sing Revenge by Captain Sparkles. But then they're like, alright guys, we're running out of time, so uh, the karaoke's over now. And I was like in line, and I never actually got to. I was going to, I was like so determined. I mean, they cut off the line, and I never got to. And it still haunts me to this day. Oh no, my pickaxe. That's why you always bring multiple pickaxes. Okay, this one now. Nothing in there. Iron, lots of iron. Maybe I'll get that later. Oh my god, so much iron. Okay, I'll probably get it soon. On the way back, maybe. I just kind of want to see what's all down here. Uh oh boys, we got mushrooms. Time to start farming these and then selling them. I'll make, I'll make millions. Ha. Ha. I remember in like the old days of Minecraft, like in like the beta. Oh my god, there's so much iron and it just goes forever. Okay. In the old like beta days, the torches would only illuminate like three block radius around them, so you just spam them literally everywhere. And it was the most annoying shit ever. Like, you literally had to just... You. I shouldn't be talking in the past tense. I'm not that much of a veteran. I haven't been playing Minecraft that long. But occasionally I go back and I play the older versions. And, like, there's something a little bit charming about, you know, playing the original, like beta versions like the 1.1 you know like the OG was it 1.1 or 1.0 I think it was 1.0 like the original Minecraft but then you're like yeah I can see why they added these updates in the newer version you know I swear there was more on it. no maybe there's more later I don't remember Yeah, I remember after the dirt patch there was iron. Here we go. Bro, have you heard Killing in the Name by Rage Against the Machine? That song is freaking awesome. Like the baseline to it is literally so jammy. Just makes you wanna move, man. It's a good song with a good bass. Dude, there's so much iron here. This is like two veins that are just like conjoined twins. If you notice, iron usually spawns in like two by two blocks. So you usually get like eight from one vein. Give or take a little bit, you know. 
but it's pretty epic. Watch me like mine into a lava and it just all falls on my head. That'd be pretty epic. Or like gravel or something. Gravel wouldn't be as bad as lava. Lava would be easier to get away from. But when you die in gravel you don't lose all your stuff. So it's kind of like balanced, you know. Lava is worse, but it's like easier to get away from. And gravel just kind of happens. And you can't stop it, but it's not that bad. Okay. So, I should probably go two blocks over and make another mine here. I might just be mining for this whole episode. If so, I'll make two episodes today, so that it's not just like boring mining and that's all you get. I'll make more, don't worry. I got you. The reason I'm making this is actually one of my friends texted me and he was like, when are you gonna make more Minecraft videos? And I'm like, oh shit, I'll make one now. So here we go. Okay. Iron. Oh shoot. When you have a stack of iron. Oh, my pickaxe is about to break. Hopefully I, like, make it back to the, uh, the hub area. Probably won't, though. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna make it. Did I bring wood? Damn. Always remember to bring wood when you go mining. Like, just bring a stack of planks so that you can just, like, make an emergency crafting. Oh my god. The pickaxe breaking sound, man. It, like, it gives me a heart attack. Okay. Time to go back to the surface. Get some food in my belly. Oh, I wouldn't have even made it because of how it's been like that. Okay. Smelt my ores. I need food. I'll eat this rotten flesh. Like, not gonna lie, the hunger effect, it, like, isn't even that bad. Can you eat mushrooms? Oh shit. Apparently not. You can make a stew out of them, though. Yay, and now it's snowing. Okay, we got more rotten flesh. But I'm not at low health, so I don't need to regen. Okay. Do we have ore? Give me all the ores. I'm going to smelt them because I have gone coal mining. Here, what I like to do is I like to collect all my coal and then like divide it evenly between the furnaces because I believe in communism. There you go. Everybody's paycheck is the same. Look how great it is. I have so much iron, dude. I'm gonna be rich as hell. Okay, I'm gonna move my crafting table to make room for more furnaces. I'll put it there, and then I'll go yeet. Furnace time. I'll just get a ton of furnaces. Maybe I should make like a forgery, like a separate building. I want to make like a little town, but like every building in the town is just dedicated to me. Oh dang. I need to subtract all this coal now because I need communism. And they all need to have the same paycheck, but there's four of them now, so everyone gets a little... Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I, I'm bad at communism, guys. There we go. I'm also bad at math. Okay, there you go. Here is your fuel, comrade. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna just put the furnaces in there for now. And I'm gonna get me some water buckets so that... Okay, so we have confirmation that... Oh, the snow doesn't even... I don't even need a roof. The roof doesn't kill the plants, but I don't even need a roof because apparently the snow grew on my slabs, but not on the till dirt. So it's possible, but it's not necessary. Okay. Learn something new every day, I guess. Time to get my wood back. Okay, I thought I was like killing my crops, but I'm not. All right. Time to get my water. But if I like put a water there, will it just freeze that one water? We'll see. Experiments with bloopers gaming. Bloop. Okay. My house is an absolute piece of shit. But it's fine, we'll make it better later. Also, this biome, like, kinda sucks. I'm gonna make, like, a clock so I know when it's daytime. I just go like bloop bloop, and then I go do 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 do, and then I go like yeet, and then yeet, and then I go do 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 do. Aha, that's how you do stuff. Okay. Okay, and now that these furnaces are not in commission, I need to equally distribute the fuel to their comrades. Wait, is that? No. No? Okay. You get one extra, because I like you. But don't expect this in the future. Okay, time to make some armor and craft some armor. And craft those diamonds, get it, baby. Forge like you so MLG pro. The sword's made of diamonds, so come at me, bro. Also, the boots look like AirPods. You're welcome. Okay. Damn. I got so much iron, dude. Okay, so like nighttime is here. Just barely though. So yeah, we have that to worry about. But it's fine, I'm in my house, I'm all cozy. I need to make another pickaxe. I need to make lots of pickaxes. And then I need to make obsidian and make a enchanting table. Because that will be very epic. Just give me all the pi oh shit. <laughs> I think I made an oopsie. It's fine. We just have extra pick. We have the picking power of a thousand gods on our side. I need food. And torches. Where's the extra coal? Sorry, comrades. The government needs your money. Okay. And I used all my wood to make fucking pickaxes. Oh wait, there's three sticks here. These three sticks will be my salvation. Twelve torches. We go, boys. We have 14 torches. Absolute mad lads. I need more wood, so we're gonna go out in the middle of the night and get some wood. 
fight me. You got nothing. Just forget about what happened last episode. I think it was last episode. Was that the one where I was like fighting them with the water buckets and the creepers exploded? And it all went to shit because I'm bad at Minecraft. I got full iron now though. So you can fight me. I need to get the polar bear. He came back from the grave. Oh no, you stay away. Oh my god, three? Oh my god, how many... Why are there so many babies? What the hell? Did the zombie apocalypse just like spread to the nursery? What the hell happened? We don't like you here. Get out. Get the hell out of my house. You're not even in my house. Leave immediately. Is it still in hard mode? I think I put it in hard mode. I stick to my guns. I'm gonna keep it in hard mode. Maybe that's why. I have slowness from that freaking skele bitch. Uh, I'm not scared of you. Uh, so what if you killed the guy who played hardcore?